Hi, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to download Keybase for GarageBand. We start off by going to martinic.com and clicking products. Then you scroll down until you find Keybase and you can read more about the plugin if you so wish or you can go ahead and download the free trial. In this case, we're downloading it for Mac since GarageBand is only available on Mac. We click download for Mac. We save it and we also have to claim our free license and you do that by clicking order now and then you go ahead and you enter your uh, email and uh, your name and make sure you click I agree with Fastspring's terms of service place your order then you click download now and you will get this license txt file Once we've downloaded both of them, then we can go ahead and open our download folder and make sure that we have both the Keybase DMG and the license.txt. You double click the DMG to open up Keybase installer. You're going to get a little window like this. And then you can just go ahead and just click the Keybase installer package. Um, just click continue and continue, continue, and agree. It's important that you check this little box where it says license key, and then you click continue and install. Use your password or your fingerprint. Once the installation is done, you might have to restart your PC. That's okay. You can just come back to the video and continue watching from where we left off. You can go ahead and close this and close that and then close this. You can now go ahead and open up GarageBand. We will open up a empty project. So I just double click that. And in this case, we want to select a software instrument. This is the tri tricky part. It can be a little bit tricky to find where to insert the plugin, but I'll show you how. You go here to track and then plugins. And then you can see this little e piano. You click the little up and down arrow and you select AU Instruments and then Martinic Keybase Stereo. That will initiate the plugin and it should work perfectly. A little tip for this plugin is that you can assign any button on your MIDI keyboard to control something inside of the plugin. So you click this MIDI Learn button up here and these buttons will turn purple. And then if we click one, and then we move something on our keyboard, now we can control it with the MIDI controller. Super cool and super effective. And then you can deselect this to remove the MIDI learn. Um, you have a few settings. You can go MIDI, you can go mono or poly MIDI, and a bunch of other settings. If you want to access a bunch of presets, we can do so by clicking up here and go to factory presets. And you can select any preset you want from the list. And we can also insert some effects by going back to where it says plugins and under Keybase, we can click here and then we can add in any plugin that we want to add. In this case, I'm going to add the Lem Echo Music. This is also a product from Martinic and you can go in here and just select a, any presets you want. You also have the same settings as in Keybase here, where you can select a few different settings to your heart's content. Yeah, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.